The White House has revoked the press pass for CNN's chief White House correspondent, Jim Acosta. That's after a fiery exchange with President Donald Trump at a press conference on Wednesday, where Acosta challenged the president for calling the migrant caravan heading for the U.S. border an invasion. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of you miles away. That, that's not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. Right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let would me be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question. I'll tell you what, CNN should be a ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, tweeted afterward that the White House had suspended Acosta's pass until further notice. She added, we will never tolerate a reporter placing his hands on a young woman just trying to do her job. The White House alleges Acosta touched a White House intern as she attempted to take the microphone. Reuters correspondent Jeff Mason was at the same conference. Of tension in the room uh, during the press conference between President Trump and reporters, and that tension only increased uh, during the back and forth with Jim Acosta. The White House Correspondents Association, which speaks for the press corps, released a statement uh, late on Wednesday saying that that move was unacceptable uh, and encouraging people to look closely at the video to see what actually happened. The microphone eventually made its way to NBC's Peter Alexander. Go ahead, Peter. Go ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm butt not a big fan of yours either. So I understand. You know, to be honest. So